This is the most cursed thing you'll ever see in this channel or video. If there are some people that still don't like Bristol, what the hell is wrong with you, honestly? Bristol, what is there to say about Bristol? It's been said, there's a lot of things that has been said. What else is there to say about Bristol? The only thing I can say is that I wish the Bristol Night Race was a crown jewel race because the atmosphere, the racing, the driver's intro stuff, it just feels like a crown jewel race, honestly. Like, how is this race not a crown jewel race? Like, what the hell? I think it's overdue for the Bristol Night Race to not be a crown jewel race. Like, it has everything that, that we want. Great racing, the atmosphere and all that, and post-race tempers, and drivers showing true emotions. Seriously, how is this not a crown jewel race? Come on, make the Bristol Night Race a crown jewel race. Don't make it a dirt race. Like, here's the thing, I was fine with it being a dirt race as a one-time thing, but when it was announced as that it was giving on dirt next year, I was like, well, shit, that's not, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I think, like, I think it was cool as a one-time thing. I thought it was like a test to s see how cup cars do on dirt. But no, let's do it again next year for some reason. But come on. Concrete racing at Bristol all the way. Anyway, so let's get to the point of what happened Saturday night. So, the Saturday night race. It had everything that we wanted. Great racing, amazing battles, especially for the lead. The contenders for lead. Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick. I don't know if I'm missing another driver, but... Dude, the racing was beautiful. It's Bristol, okay? Bristol brings the sexiest short track racing ever. Like, come on. Like, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of PG1. PG1's fucking stupid, but it was, but it's better only at Bristol, to be honest. That's all I can say. Like, honestly, it, like, what is there to say about Saturday Night's Race? It was amazing. It's unfortunate that it was not only a chase race, but it was only, it was also a, quote, elimination race. That's the only part that fucking sucks and very gimmicky. But I'm not going to let that bother me or ruin how much fun I had watching the race. The racing was amazing. It had everything that, that people want. Great racing and all that. Um competition like just typical classic bristol racing like yeah saturday night's race was was another classic bristol night race and, and another thing is that you don't need no stupid caution fest to make it a great racing i'm looking at you the NASCAR Camper World Truck Series You Know 200 at Bristol Motor Speedway for Thursday night. <sighs> that one, that race fucking sucked. Like, it's trucks. They always suck. They used to be good. The Xfinity race, yeah, it was also a caution fest. But hey, at least they can, at least they got to race competitively on like trucks. Yeah, trucks are somewhat competitive, but all they do is freaking wreck or whatever. I don't know. Okay, let's not get salty here. Friday night, it was also it was also fun. It's the Xfinity series. Like, come on, Bristol. I mean, yeah, Bristol, but the Xfinity race is the best series. They're the most competitive series in the top three NASCAR series. Like, hello. Uh, although, like the 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 finish, it felt like a gimmick. I know it felt like a gimmick. It was. It was weird. Like, it's like, hey, this is what NASCAR wanted for God knows how long. Like, 
a green white checkered and crazy ass finish. Yeah. I bet NASCAR finally got what they wanted, but regardless of that, the race was amazing. The finish, oh my god. There's there's been checkers or wreckers, but I don't I never thought like in on NASCAR today we would see checkers and wreckers. So I'm a dinger one and Austin Cindric wrecked. It's like, oh my god. I don't know what else to say. But it sucks that the Xfinity series is going to have their chase race again. So Xfinity is being robbed. Uh, we're being robbed to see a real championship battle between Austin Cedric and A.J. Uh We're being robbed of seeing a real cup championship battle between Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson. John Hunter Nemechek is a non-chase point leader. Like 130-something points ahead of Austin Hill in second, according to Racing Reference. Yep, Austin Dillon got Not Austin Hill. Austin. Fuck, not Austin Dillon. Austin Hill got robbed. Stupid format. I don't care what you guys say in the comments. The chase sucks. Just don't. Don't be so defensive. Anyway, so let's get back to Cup. I don't want to repeat myself, but what does there say about the Cup race? It was great. The battle between, like, it's like Kevin Harvick. It looked like he was going to get his first win of the season. Finally. Personally, I wanted to see Harvick win because it's been a while. It's been a year. And I think he deserved a win. And then, like, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, they were going at it. Dodging lap traffic and all that. Um, and then Harvick and Chase Elliott had something going on. And then uh, Chase had a tire down. Um, and then, yeah. And then, of course, NASCAR fan base... Or and the toxic Chase Elliott fans, of course, they're gonna throw a freaking fit about it. They're all being crybabies about it because they don't know what real racing is. Guess what, Chase fans? You guys gotta deal with Chase Elliott being raced hard throughout his long career. Chase has a long career ahead of him. So, Chase Elliott did the same thing to other drivers. Joey Logano last year, Ty Dillon, Canadian Tire 2013. And he's made some stupid mistakes. Like, hello, the, the Daytona 400 t- three weeks ago? He caused the wreck. Where were you guys at besides making um, excuses? Yeah, I know Chase didn't do anything intentional, but it's just my problems with the Chase fa- the, the bad Chase fans, not the good Chase fans. I know the good Chase fans are, like, chill and are actually smart. But the, for the bad Chase fans, it's like whenever Chase Elliott does something... Like, let's just say Chase Elliott could intentionally give a concussion to XYZ. And they'd be like, oh, it's just hard racing. It's just hard racing. Oh, he didn't mean to do that. But God forbid if somebody races Chase Elliott hard or accidentally touches Chase or whatever. Oh, that driver's public enemy number one. And and there's like death threats. I don't understand. What, what is your problem? You guys are the worst of the worst. One of the reasons why NASCAR is not fun. So, and then Larson finally got his Bristol win in the Cup Series. Although, I'm neutral for Larson. Hey, he's the best driver. He's the best race car driver in America right now. I can't take that away from him. I respect him for that. And then, to see Larson finally win at Bristol. Hey, great on him. Because who doesn't want to win at Bristol? I know he wanted to win at Bristol for a long time. And I'll give Larson credit for that. He finally won at Bristol. And then Harvick finished second. Or Byron, I don't remember. I know Harvick almost... I know Harvick almost wrecked Larson. I don't know why. I hope that was just hard racing. There's no way he would, like, intentionally wreck Larson. Unless he was just too dust... Unless he was just that desperate or down bad for a win. I don't know. I don't know. But it was just a great race. Crazy ending and all that. It's Bristol, baby, okay? It's Bristol racing. <sighs> okay. So while Larson was celebrating his first cup win at Bristol, there was hmm, certain stuff going on between Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick. Oh, boy. 
And I'm all for the like, drivers showing real emotions and all that. But. But for Kevin Harvick, like, honestly. I mean, I was on nobody's side, but I prefer Harvick just to piss off Chase fans. The, the bad ones. I was, like, questioning Kyrgios why he had his helmet on. Like, come on, dude. Like, why do you not have. Why do. I hate it when drivers just don't take off your helmet. That just makes himself look bad. That's all I can say. I don't think, like, coward's the right way to put it, but it's more like, you're making yourself look bad and weak. I don't get it. Props to Chase for taking off his helmet, though. So, yeah. And it's funny how NASCAR doesn't care about actual motorsports competition, only BS entertainment gimmicks, like stick and ball sports and WWE. It's funny how they want that. Yet... They still don't let Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott fight it out. They don't let drivers fight it out like they used to. Like, I'm sorry. Aren't you guys the same company that wants bullshit entertainment? No actual, comp- no actual motorsports competition with your stupid gimmicks? I'm sorry. Isn't it the same company that has that? That makes themselves a shitty company? But you guys don't let them fight? What happened to entertainment, guys? What happened to that? I thought you guys wanted entertainment. No? Okay. Fuck you guys, honestly. Fuck NASCAR. Whatever. But. So. Yeah, Harvick and Chase going at it. Kinda. And then. And here's the funny part about, like, Chase Elliott. He acts like he never does anything wrong. He thinks he's an angel. His fan, his fans like defend him, act like he's such an angel. But guess what? Chase has done stupid stuff too, and it's okay for drivers to done stupid stuff. Nobody's perfect. The greats will always make stupid stuff. Will do stupid stuff. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, kind of is, but like, as long as they learn from it, that's all that matters. So Chase was being hypocritical. Kevin Harvey was being hypocritical because he's done some stupid shit before too. So, like, that's one of the most. I don't know what to say. I don't know what put. I don't know what words to put. Interesting part about drivers being mad. When drivers become mad, in interviews, they act like they haven't done anything wrong, but they've done some shit stuff in the past before. So, yeah, basically, both drivers are being hypocritical. Therefore, they're both guilty. (sighs) So, yeah, after that Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick commotion and all that, you know how NASCAR is. Because we're in a chase, um, they're just going to milk out Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott because A, chase drama, or B, uh, because because it's Chase Elliott. What do you expect from NBC and what do you expect from the media? Especially during the chase. I say this because they, they milk this shit out to a bunch of drivers. And then, next thing you know, nothing happens. Like, sometimes stuff does happen, but at the same time, nothing happens after that particular event. So, yeah. <sighs> so, this is where the part that I'm gonna, of course, rant about the fan base after, like, the Bristol Night Race. It's funny how NASCAR fans want to see, you know, side by side, beating and banging, you know, those kind of things. But whenever, like, you know, the Harvick and Elliott thing happens. That, that for an example. Oh, they complain that. Oh, this driver bad. Oh, that driver bad. It's like, like, what do you guys want? Do you guys want your bullshit entertainment that NASCAR gives you? Because of the gimmicks? Here you go. What are you guys complaining about? It's ridiculous. You know how the NASCAR fan base, they're fucking awful. And I know, like, I don't want to say I'm, like, the enemy of NASCAR fans. I don't mind it, to be honest. Hate on me. 
I'm entertained by the hate. It's just you know how they are. They compl- they get what they want and something and complain about it. And then like after the race, there's like uh Kyle Petty, Dale Jarrett, they're like Oh, let's put Bristol as the season finale. Please, Daddy. And guess what? No, let's not do that because NASCAR's already gimmicky enough. They have all these gimmicks to put Bristol as the season finale. No, that's... It's like you're asking for more stupid shit for gimmicks. That's too much. Like, I love Bristol as much as the next guy. One of the best NASCAR tracks ever. But I do not want them as a season finale. It's perfect the way it is It's when it's not the finale. Because if, you, because if NASCAR fans got, they got what they wanted as the season finale, something bad happens, oh, they complain. Like, it backfires. Bristol is fine the way it is. Do not keep it as a finale. Keep it like, I don't know, like August, September, whatever. Somewhere in the fall-ish. Nearly the end of summer. Like, whatever. Also, today's fall. I just, I just realized that. Happy fall day, everybody. Um, Bristol's fine the way it is. But do not make it as the finale. And some say, let's do three Bristol races. <coughs> that can't spell fake. Like, no, that's too much. That's, that's just too crazy. Do not do this. NASCAR is already crazy enough with the gimmicks. Don't give them any ideas, please. But they will anyway, because that's NASCAR. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say, because I don't want to like repeat myself on other shits. So, Bristol Night Race on Saturday. Fantastic. Also, the Arc Race is good. I forgot to mention that. So... Cup is number one, Arca number two, no, wait, fuck, I'm sorry. Cup number one, Xfinity number two, Arca three, Chucks four. (sighs) I'm glad I got that out of my system. So, at the end of the day, I had fun watching the cup race at Bristol, the Bristol night race. What matters is that I had fun. That's what NASCAR fans fail to do. They have they always get mad about something particular happen. It could be like the best race ever, and there's always like one issue, like for like I don't know, insert something here, and then that just ruins everything for them. Like, can we just appreciate that the 2021 Bristol Night Race is another classic and will be remembered from years to come? Can we just appreciate that? NASCAR fans fail to appreciate a bunch of stuff. Like, I had fun, and I bet you guys did. So, yeah. So, I think that's everything I can say. Um, So, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, today's episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Uh, follow my social accounts and all that. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Thank you guys so much for supporting EA Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Have a great day, except to the toxic NASCAR fans and except the toxic bandwagon. Uh, bad sides of Chase Elliott fans. So yeah, bite me.